Hey there, collective. Getting ready to start your reading. I hope you guys are doing well. Let me make a little minor adjustment here. There we go. All right, guys. Getting ready to start your reading. This will be a general collective reading. As always, please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay. The song, oh my gosh, that I've been singing heavily, not only today, all the way through yesterday and last night, uh, but I didn't have enough energy last night to do the reading, and that's okay because it's persistent for whatever reason, but it's Take It to the Limit. It's by the Eagles. I don't know if maybe that resonates with some of you guys. Um, I've definitely not been missing on the lyrics, I mean, which is unusual for me. <laughs> I never know the lyrics, but I was just thinking about some of them all alone at the end of the evening when the bright lights have faded to blue. I was thinking about a woman who might have loved me, but I never knew. You know, I've always been a dreamer, spent my life running around, and it's so hard to change. I can't seem to settle down, but the dreams I've seen lately keep on turning out and burning out and turning out the same. So put me on the highway and show me the way. Take it to the limit. One more time, something like that. Anyway, <laughs> I can't be 100%. But what I was getting from that is, A, either you don't know how somebody feels about you. Maybe this is you, okay? Maybe this maybe this is about you, all right? Uh, maybe you don't know how somebody feels about you or someone feels like you never actually fully exposed to them, at least told them how you feel about them. I feel like somebody is questioning something, and I think it's somebody here, you or them, like I said, take it as it resonates, who has been running in the same circle the whole time, okay, like someone on a hamster wheel, all right, just running into, you know, I just want to be single, um, was it, what's the song spent my life running around and it's so hard to change. Can't seem to settle down. So this might be a person that was noncommittal, uh, feeling noncommittal, uh, like to be maybe in several connections. Look at this victim consciousness. Um, and unfortunately I feel like they are in burnout syndrome now because they know that what they have been doing has not been producing the results that they want, which is ultimately happiness. Okay, so, you know, put me on a highway and show me the way to take it to the limit. You know, one more time, something like that. Is that how it goes? No, no, put me on a highway and show me a sign. That's how it goes. That's right. I do believe this person is actually receiving some signs. Okay, maybe you live far away from this person too, where they would have to travel or even relocate uh, to come and be with you. Temptation. So I, I definitely know that song is for some of you guys. A hundred percent I know that because I never, I will channel a song and it'll stay with me for a little while, but never this long. Even last night as I was sitting on my bed trying to look at some things on Amazon, I was just belting out this song. So you may want to look at the lyrics and see if it does, if it you know resonates with you. All right, first card out, guys, is Victim Consciousness. It's card number 12. So um, maybe that number or 20 one resonates with someone it also um reduces to a three so maybe three you know is significant for some of you i also have temptation that's a very telling card actually in this particular card of temptation that's one nine so 19 or 91 perhaps that resonates maybe your birth or ages or um something along those lines yeah, and that also, 1 plus 9, of course, is 10. So maybe some of those numbers actually resonate too. What else here? Wow, soulmate. Yeah, this is about a high-level soulmate here. Somebody is definitely feeling very burnt out. Is what I'm getting about their lifestyle, about the choices that they've made, procrastination. I think this is a person that has been procrastinating quite a bit. Unfortunately, right now, they may actually be in some kind of victim consciousness because of this burnout and because they've been they've been doing the same thing over and over and over. And of course, what happens when we do that? They're getting the same results and that result is not happiness. All right. Yeah, look, they're sad here. Look at this. 
whoever this person is, I feel like they know that they've definitely, you know, they know that you're a high level soulmate. All right. They feel like you're a soulmate. They feel like you belong together. Look in this card of temptation. Look how this, this man, okay, and this woman are looking at each other. You can see him actually reaching down to grab her. You guys may be conversing a lot in the 5D here. If not, someone has, has you heavily in their thoughts, clearly. They're thinking about you. I think they're being very nostalgic about your situation, about belonging to one another. They definitely believe that you guys are supposed to be together. Look at that. All right. He's imagining that. All right. If you notice that, I mean, again, he has his hands here wrapped around her, embraced in her, whether you're male or female, doesn't matter. All right. These are energies, but um, just embracing her, thinking about what it was like to be with her, what it would be like to be with this individual here. Yeah, but unfortunately, they also know there's been a lot of procrastination here, and I feel like that's been on their part. Perhaps that is leaving you hanging or just not responding accordingly, uh, accordingly or maybe being afraid here. All right, you notice that there's a cat right behind this woman here, but the cat is not even really paying attention. The cat is kind of looking down which tells me that this person was probably not listening to the signs or watching for the signs, listening to the signs, listening to their intuition here because cats are very intuitive to me. They always signify intuition. Uh, they weren't really listening to that. They weren't listening to the downloads. They just kept doing whatever they were doing and continuing to procrastinate. And then, of course, we have where it's left them in a place of sadness here because they're seeing... Um, I don't know if you have kind of gone off on, on a, in a different direction here. Uh, then we have to take off your mask here on the bottom too. Yeah. You may have actually went off in a different direction, but even if you didn't, I think they're just like, wow, I cannot believe I've been spinning my wheels for this long. Look at all the stuff I've invested in and it's just not proven to be fruitful for me whatsoever. In fact, I feel like I'm burnt out. Look at this victim consciousness. Look all around this person. Okay, I mean, that does not look like a good situation. Everything is dark and gloomy and, you know, ugh, uh, sparse in a sense. So I don't think that this person is feeling like they have achieved a whole lot here. They can't get you off of their mind. Okay, they know that this is obviously a very significant, incredibly strong connection. Um, and now they're feeling like they're without you. So this tells me some of you guys have definitely pulled back your energy here. That's not going to relate to everybody. This person may have kept a mask on for you in the past, and now it looks like they want to actually take it off. Something they're seeing about you, too, is showing that you're you're taking yours off. So that's interesting to me. That's also the card. That's 11. 11, of course, as we know, so it can signify um, uh, twin flames. I also have the numbers 5 here. I have the numbers 8, and I have the numbers 14 or 41, which also reduces to a 5 again. All right. So if you're taking yours off too, maybe they have not seen you or maybe you just look different, okay, to them. And when I say look different, you look different. Something that you're doing is different. You may have had a massive glow up of your own. They've watched your change, your transition. Oh, wow. Something about this connection. I don't know if you guys might have known each other before or something, but maybe when you got together, like this person didn't expect you to be like, wow, I didn't expect that. Like, I didn't expect this person to be like that. You know, I feel like some of you guys may have actually known them before and you literally changed right before their eyes. Or uh, when you guys got together, you were very different. Hmm. Okay, I'm getting something on that. So let's say that you guys work together. And let's say, you know, they're used to seeing you in a very assertive, kind of, you know, powerful position, something like that. You could have been their boss. Um, it doesn't have to be or something along those lines. Okay, this is just an example. And and then they get with you and they find out that, yeah, you are those things, but you're also very kind, very loving, very nurturing, a lot of fun, you know, maybe very spiritual. I mean, who knows? It's something like that. You're not exactly what they expected in a good way, in a very positive way. Um, so they definitely know that they have to, they did not take off their mask. They needed to, and they've kind of watched you do that in some way, shape or form, whether you're right in front of them, they're watching your social media, somehow having eyes on you. They've watched you change is what I'm getting. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get a few messages here. What might this person want to say? And we'll delve into the tarot to my collective. 
something they want to say to my collective. I want to feel that way again. Yeah, something that you made this person feel. This is what, I mean, when I'm looking at, these are both very intimate cards. I mean, look at this. I think you can see it okay. Look at just how he is just eyes closed, really deeply imagining being with her, holding her, touching her. And the same thing here. There's no different. Very beautiful, extremely intimate. The cards, so someone may miss holding you, touching you. The way you made them feel, even if you guys never touched or connected, well, you obviously connected, even if you connected mentally, emotionally, okay? Something about the way that you made them feel was very special. I think they're really desiring that because their life looks to be a little bit chaotic right now, um, and they're feeling very sad, it looks like, about it. It does say they're afraid to contact you. I'm afraid to contact you. So something may have happened here, and it may have been just their whole procrastination. It could have been procrastination on even responding back to you or doing something about, you know, any holes or any distance that were in the relationship or any problems that were in the relationship, um, just procrastinating on doing anything. And again, like I said, they're watching you. I can see here kind of grow and evolve, um, change, but certainly they're feeling like, oh, wow, you're very different. Now, another example might be that you were very kind, nurturing, loving, um, and they didn't see that really strong, assertive part of you. Maybe you let them get away with stuff, okay? Um, yeah, and maybe now they're saying, oh, you know, this person is very strong, very assertive, very empowered person, you know? Anyway, it does say, I feel you even though we're apart. I definitely get that with those two top cards there. All right, you guys may both feel one another, feel each other's energy, feel like you're deeply connected uh, energetically. Come out, spirit. Yeah, I want to tell you how I feel. All right, so somebody here definitely did not express their emotions. All right. Um, didn't tell the other person how they felt. That may have been part of the mask here. Um, they want to let you know. Look where that's falling up underneath the soulmate and that they obviously crave you. There's a lot of temptation here, a lot of love. Um, again, I'm just going to go back to how absolutely beautiful, okay, and intimate that card is. But it also says, I wish I could take back my words. So again, Something that was said, something that was done here may have actually created some kind of rift in your situation, in your connection, and somebody here procrastinated on maybe trying to fix it, trying to show effort, um, something along those lines. And it may have been because they were still caught up in that same consciousness, to be honest with you. Remember the song, Take It to the Limit, okay? All right. Um... You know, that, that song is interesting because it says, I was thinking about a woman who might have loved me. So it's almost like, did they not believe you? If you told them, did they not believe you? Maybe they felt it. Maybe it was never spoken, but they wasn't sure. It was never kind of confirmed. And then maybe the situation broke apart. The bottom line is they're really thinking a lot about that is what I'm getting. Like, wow, I really had this chance. Did I blow my chance? I keep going round and round in circles can't seem to get it together, you know, and now I'm over here looking very sad and they're over there looking radiant, abundant, okay, empowered, all right, something they said here may have actually created some problems within the relationship. This person also says, though, I will wait for a sign from you, so you may have actually cut this person off. Okay, you may have told them you don't want to talk anymore. You may have just stopped talking if you felt like some things weren't being reciprocated or if you just wanted to stop talking to them. I don't know what they said to you. If they did say something to you, maybe that's why you stopped talking. Okay, but then it says, I want to be more than friends. So this person could have definitely been a friend with you. You could have known them. It could have been from work, obviously. I know I brought up that uh, a little bit earlier, so I guess that could be the case or... It could just be that you know, you know, you know this person. You've been friends with this person for a while. Um, or maybe you guys met online and you formed a friendship, okay? And this person is wanting something to go more. Because one thing that they remember in all of this, all right, in their sadness even so, is that one thing that they know is that they can't get you off their mind. They can't, uh, I feel like, separate the way that they feel in terms of you, how you made them feel, all right? 
Yeah, and it doesn't matter if they continue to go and do the things that they've always done. It looks like they're landing right back here at the same spot. And that spot is, you know, this, this feeling sad. I'm sad because I procrastinated so much. And this person is very, very special to me. How did I not see that before? How did I not act on that? How did I get too busy and basically self-sabotage? Because that's what I'm getting. That song does talk about burnout. All right, now they're just burnout on this situation. Not on your situation, on their on their little hamster wheel over there. All right. So spirit. Let's get a few of these. All right. For my collective, please. Yeah, photographs. See, this person is heavily reminiscent here. They're looking over your photographs. It says that they're missing you here. Definitely heavily in nostalgia here. Uh, they're probably thinking about making new memories. They're thinking about they're thinking about touching you. I'm just going to say it, okay? They're thinking about touching you, feeling you, being with you. Maybe something about your skin. Uh, something about your neckline, okay? Your skin might be really soft. Something about the way you smell, too. Somebody really likes the way that you smell. Something about your scent is what I'm getting. Yeah, see, they want to talk, all right? This says a weighted message actually arrives here. So it could come through a text, a call, an email, something like that. But this person wants to start talking more. So if you guys are not talking, or if you're talking just a little, it looks to me like they want to start talking more. It's almost like they have to have some kind of little sign here to get the go-ahead to, to go further. They know that they want to be more than just friends. I'm feeling like there is some reticence here in terms of conveying that to another person. Like, how is this going to be taken? And especially if I go in talking about soulmate, you know, so maybe it's not going to come across that way. But they're saying, I want to tell you how I feel. I want to be more than just friends. Okay. All right. Yeah, look, I, look, you can make this up. I am telling you camera again. All right. This is all about reminiscing. This is about a keepsake. Maybe you left something at this person's house or maybe you gave them something. Um, that they have kept as a keepsake or vice versa. Both of these cards here, camera and photo or photograph, is about making memories, just so you know. Okay, maybe you guys did make memories in the past, or maybe this is something that they think a lot about. All right? They definitely want to speak to you. They want to talk to you. Something about the way you perceive them. Okay, they're learning from the past here. I think they're taking a hard look here at their past, at, at the past behaviors maybe that may have impacted. Maybe for the first time, they're really thinking about their impact on the connection, on the relationship, why it is the way it is. I heard stagnant. So maybe for some of you guys, it's fully stagnant or not going anywhere, not moving in the right direction, something like that. Yeah. Karmic relationship. All right. You guys may have been working out some kind of karma uh, together. Okay, but this person or you could have also been in another situation as well, a karmic relationship. Judging by this up here with the victim consciousness, I'm going to say, and the song, Take It to the Limit. Okay, um, you know, that's about being burnt out, about going in circles, right? So that, to me, immediately in the energy I was saying earlier, that there is just, you know, this is a person that's been doing the same thing over and over, the same Maybe seeing the same kind of people, maybe going, you know, partying or, um, you know, seeing a bunch of different people or hanging out with their friends or, you know, just stuff like that. Things that have just proven to be just not so good for them. If somebody got backstabbed here is what I just said. Good grief. Then we have twin flames. So this may be the yin to your yang or the yang to your yin. This is about balance, but it's also about union. Okay. Coupling. All right. It could be a twin flame union. Could very well be. And then we have love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know that they're thinking of you. I'm telling you, you cannot make it up. You know how many cards are in this deck? You know, I love to show you all this. But look at look at the ones that came out. Absolutely beautiful. So if this person was in a karmic relationship that you know of, we definitely want to find out if they're out, okay? Um but something about this also makes me feel like, especially if you guys were in twin flames, you could have obviously been highlighting a lot of their own stuff, that, their wounds that needed to be worked out. I do feel like this person may have been holding some resentment um, 
from past relationships or maybe things that happened to them as well. So they did, they certainly had their own things here. They might've been, came off a bit shut down. Maybe they would let you go so far and then like, you know, stop you. Like they just weren't comfortable with that. Yeah. Got you showing up here. It's the queen of wands here. Okay. And Sag energy here. Give me the energy here for my collective. So again, you're coming across as very um, passionate. Excuse me. Okay. Um, you're showing up here as very fiery, very passionate, um, very confident within yourself. I feel like you probably look good. You get a lot of, um, you know, you could very well get, a, you know, attention. But not only that, I just feel like you're also someone who likes to have a good time. You like to be the life of the party in a sense. This is going to be for some of you guys. Uh, the bottom line is you're coming across as very strong and confident. They may also feel like you get quite a bit of attention here. All right. But you know, I think with this situation here, look at this. Wow. Okay. Give me my collective's energy, please. Only some of you guys are not playing here. Some of you may be in a stage right now. This could have just happened, honestly, where you're feeling like things are not moving forward. You're not getting the victory that you want. Things are not actually moving ahead here. Okay. Ooh, yeah. You may feel even like you don't want to talk. Okay. Again, take it as it resonates. We already know this is not going to apply to every single person, but this King of Swords in reverse is somebody who doesn't want to talk or if they do talk, Okay, they come across very crass. They don't care about the things that they say. It's, remember, they're in reverse here. It is a king, but he's in reverse. You know, that you're going to say something like you'd like to cuss somebody out or I would like to, you know, really lay it on this person. Let them know how they did me. Just just pissed off, really. All right. So it's like giving the truth, but giving it in like the absolute worst way where you're kind of going for the juggler here. That's what the energy is saying. Give me some more on my collective's energy. Okay, I think you're trying, and maybe the reason, like, you know, obviously, if this is brand new, if you found something out, something along those ways, or if you just feel slighted, because this person hasn't been around, perhaps if you've been, if this is brand new, then you would feel slighted, or maybe you've, you, you know, you found something else out, but they said, I wish I could take back my words, so maybe it's just due to something they said, all right, but I do feel like you're trying to find your balance here, all right, um, you're trying to find your balance. Okay. I think that maybe, you know, maybe in your heart, you would like to have some kind of reconciliation here with this temperance card, but you certainly want to find some sense of balance in this situation that you can trust again, because so a lot of you guys, I feel like there is no trust or you don't feel like you can trust this situation. Yeah. Because you know that things were hidden, or at least you feel like things were hidden. Maybe you feel like this person put you, you know, filled you with like illusions in a sense, right? They weren't being honest with you. Yeah. Maybe you felt that way in terms of investing too. Let me get one more on this card, actually. One more for my collector, please. Wow, the 10, look at this. Yeah, I mean, honestly, you know, here's the thing. You might be heavily focused right now, collective, on your on your money, on your stability, on building the things that you need, on building a legacy on your own, okay? Maybe that's why you're trying to really achieve um, this balance at this moment or stay balanced. Maybe you've already achieved a level of balance. Remember, I said that in this card. Something is very, very different about you, really shining, striking about you. Okay, maybe that's why you're feeling like, listen, I don't really get the victory that I was looking for in this situation, but I'm not ready to deal with this. Okay, King of Swords in reverse. I'm not ready to take action. I don't need to hear his truth or her truth, um, you know, and I don't need to say anything to them. I just need to stay focused, stay balanced. Okay, you might be rolling in silence here with this moon energy as well. All right, and maybe you also feel like you don't need to be disillusioned. Uh, by someone, but I do feel like there's a, you do feel that some things are in secret, all right? Like things maybe were kept from, from you, and it could have very well been, now I'm just looking at your energy. If you thought somebody was invested in somewhere else, that could have very well been this karmic relationship, okay? Um, I could see why that would really hurt you, all right? But what I'm getting from this is that you're really focused on your legacy, on what you're doing, on what you're leaving behind, um, on what you're accruing even as you're here or acquiring 
as you're here. And it looks like it, that in itself is going to lead to a whole lot of success here with this Ten of Pentacles. I do think you want to be in a relationship, okay, is what I'm getting. It's not, it may not be the most pressing thing for you right now, but I do think that you're open to that. But not just any relationship, okay? Maybe you've already been through some bad relationships. You want something that really complements you, that brings out the best in you, equal give and take. Um, you know, especially if you're both, you know, you're both building in a sense. You're both working together on the connection. You're not just leaving each other high and dry uh, at the first, I don't know, ounce of, of a problem, okay? Um, it's very much so that fight or flight mode. Why do I feel like your person might have been in that a little bit? All right, let me see this person's energy from my collective. You want someone who you can build with, okay? The Ten of Pentacles is very much about having the family, the dogs, the land, the money, you know, everything that you need, really. Oh, wow. Well, let's look at your person. Two fives coming out right away. Person definitely feeling left out in the cold, feeling left behind by you. There's a lot of sadness, it looks like, that they're feeling as well. We saw this up here also. Um... The card number five, this person is sad, I'm telling you. They're sad, they feel very much so left out in the cold. My feeling is they left themselves out in the cold through something that was said or done. But that doesn't have to be the case, I guess. I mean, obviously, you guys could have had a situation and maybe you, maybe you moved off. Maybe you just decided you didn't want this anymore. But if you're watching this, I have to feel like you may have some kind of investment in this person. Yeah, look at that. They want to have... I do feel this is a faded connection because all they can do is think of you. This is borderline obsession, just so we're clear. This person wants things to begin to move in the right direction, okay? Move towards something more positive. Um, you guys, you know, maybe you had a really good connection before. They're really missing that. Look, we have the Queen of Swords upright. All right? I think this person really understands. The Queen of Swords upright is, and this might be your person's energy normally, someone who is very honest. But I'm feeling like if, if it was that and they said something where they're saying, I wish I could take back my words, maybe they feel like, uh, I should not have said that. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm getting from this in the progression of the cards is that they really want things to turn um, in the right direction, in their favor, so to speak, where you guys can be happy and joyful and get some playtime in and not have these issues. But mostly this distance I'm feeling between you. All right, they're definitely in this victim consciousness. That's a little off-putting, I think, to me, because I do think it was their action. So I'm just hoping that they can also be accountable for the things that they've done to really kind, kind of uh, contribute to what's happening in their life right now. And that would be a blessing because we can't grow unless we're accountable. This person knows that they have to come to you definitely speaking the truth. Being honest, being transparent, being very truthful, okay? Being a stand-up person. Yeah. And look at this. I mean, they're thinking about it. They want to take that leap. They want to just do it, you know? This person might be someone who stays in their head quite a bit. Look at this. You got another card about that. Yeah, they want to take that leap. Look, and with the Fool and the Ace of Swords here, they want to have a brand new start here. They know that they got to bring you... Some kind of honesty. Whatever they said, they got to clean it up. All right? Whatever they were hiding, they have to come forward and be transparent and honest about it so that you'll know. Yeah. So that you can actually know what took place here, regardless of how you take it. I mean, it's just something that has to happen. Something about what's happened in their life, too. I feel like they want to convey something that's been going on in their life or that happened. Maybe they don't know how you'll take it. This person may have been away from you for a while here. We have the hermit here in reverse. All right. So maybe this is a person that's been seeking guidance on this. All right. Or seeking out some kind of wisdom, even from, you know, obviously the universe here, you know, from God, from whomever. All right. Trying to get some, glean some wisdom, most certainly, so that they could make this push to come forward. But now they feel like it's time to come out of hermit mode. Maybe they're tired of being in separation here. Maybe they feel like they have gotten um, the enlightenment or the answers that they need. They de Look, they know that you are a high-level soulmate. I mean, look at this. And we also have the Twin Flames card, so they know this is very important. I mean, this person cannot stop thinking about you. I am so pulled to that energy. All right? So don't think... If you... If you feel like you're almost in obsessive mode or like you're thinking about this person a lot, they're thinking about you too. 
All right, there's a lot of mirroring I feel that is going on here, definitely in the energy. Give me one more card on this hermit, please. Yeah, see, look. This person is going to come through and actually, the Nine of Cups, okay, come through, try to romance you, but most importantly, I think speak some actual emotions, all right, to you. So this might be a very emotional encounter, all right, where they do bring you the truth, all right, where they do bring you some clarity is what I'm getting here, some honesty, some transparency, where they shed some light, perhaps on things that actually happened before, uh, but where they also show some emotions, all right, some love here. I want to be more than just friends. I want to tell you how I feel, all right? Um, I want to feel that way again. So there might have been a lot of unexpressed emotions here that really need to come out that's really bothering this person. This person might show their uh, love, you know, by, I don't know, bringing gifts, I guess, or doing really sweet things for you, you know, words of affirmation, something like that. But I do think that there will be an emotional spill of sorts or emotional communication of sorts between you uh, and them, okay? Because they really want to make sure that you know. Uh, and, and this is, I don't, why do I feel like this would not be easy for this person for some reason? Um, they may even feel like, well, if I do that, I'm going to look like a fool. Maybe this is a person that has a lot of ego or a lot of pride or um, really, really cares about what other people think about them. All right. But they're going to do it. I mean, we have too many cards here. I feel like of action here. I mean, they're, they're not just thinking about it. I feel like they're actually going to do it. So what is the outcome here for my collective? So this is what's on their mind. They've gained the enlightenment that they need. They know what has to be done here. They're praying for the universe to turn things, right? The will of destiny to begin to turn in their favor, all right? Um, so that things really line up for them to be able to do this. I feel like they think about it obsessively because they're. this is yearning. Look at this card. It is absolutely yearning for the other person, all right? You are consuming their thoughts. I'm asking about the outcome. And the first thing I get, I told you, they seem like they're in their head a lot. Nine of Swords. This person is very anxious. A lot of anxiety about this situation. All right, you may actually end up with anxiety as well. If they just kind of show up at your door, if they roll up on you or just send you a text, you know, maybe you, you won't even respond right away because you're going to feel a bit anxious about which way to go here. But look at this. Look. But there's going to be an expression here. If someone knows, and maybe you both know, that you're both wish fulfillment for one another with this Nine of Cups here. Also, this person might have to get a little liquid courage here to be able to tell you what they need to. But it is not based on just, oh, I need to do this because, you know, I feel like this is the right thing, whatever. This is really based on emotion. I feel the emotion. There's a lot of emotion in this reading. All right, they know, even if they have to get lit a little bit to tell you, okay, that you are their wish fulfillment here. They want to sell away from these troubled waters with you with the Six of uh, Swords. They're tired of being in the separation. They're tired of being in any arguments. Perhaps if you guys just got into an argument and split up or whatever, they're tired of being in that. Um, they want to come clean. As I say, you got the King of Cups here. You can't make it up, okay? They want to divulge what they have been hiding up underneath that very good nature, they could have been very good nature, very, uh, com you know, even compassionate, easy to get along with. I really love the King of Cups energy, okay? But this is also a person that does not spill out on their emotions, okay? So they do have them, though. They have a lot of love. They just kept them hidden, all right? I really feel that this is some of the things they're going to be telling you. They want to elevate this in some way, shape, or form. Definitely, if you guys were friends, they want to take it up a notch. Uh, if you guys were acquaintances, whatever, it doesn't matter. They want to take it up beyond the friendship level, okay? I mean, one more card, please, Spirit. My outcome. Oh, wow. Look at this. Yeah, look at this. We got Justice and the Ace of Wands. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So honestly, this has been a long time. I feel like this could have been a long time building, you know, even for someone to actually take action here. You may very well feel like you got your justice because you're finally getting some truth. You're getting some clarity. 
um, they are finally moving or making some kind of move towards you. Regardless, you guys are getting an opportunity to come together. I feel like in your mind, you're probably saying these are things I've known or I've felt. Maybe there's been times where you thought you were disillusioned or not reading the situation right. Or maybe you've tried to walk away. Maybe you did walk away. I don't know. But you are definitely going to feel a sense of, okay, this is justice. Okay, I'm really getting, I feel like I'm getting my justice in this situation. I'm finally getting what I really wanted. Like, thank you, universe. You know what I'm saying? For raining this justice down here. Like, I really feel good about this situation. And that might actually just clear in this air getting all this out in the open, really knowing what's happened here, how a certain person feels that you are on the same page, perhaps. Just really clearing the air is going to actually send you guys into a passionate new start is what I'm getting. Okay, here with the Ace of Wands. Wow. All right. Very beautiful. What do I wish to get? Let's see. I think Honestly, I don't even know how much more I want to get because this was so beautiful. Hang on. I might get. I know I did get. Let me get some of these love cards. All right. So let's just get some last little messages here. We'll let Spirit give us these messages here for this particular situation between my collective and their person. This is really, this this justice, I just looked down at it and immediately got hit with, this is really a clean, starting with a clean slate here. So somebody is clear in the air, most definitely, so that there can be a new beginning. Whatever is happening, whatever they tell you, whatever they divulge, um, and I think it's going to be with a great deal of sincerity. Um, you are going to feel like it's okay to, to either, even if it's just to start reconnecting, you know, start texting again, start communicating again, or just a full-blown being back together, you're definitely going to feel like there's justice. Look at this. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. I love that. You know, I don't know what their story is, but I'm going to tell you, collective, with all this sadness and this being feeling like they've been left out, I almost feel like I need to connect these two. All right, maybe they're going to give you some kind of sad story. We know that they're kind of in this victim consciousness. Obviously, always use discernment. That's in everything in life, right? But, um, you know, if you already moved past it or if you don't think that this person is truly ready and they could be kind of jumping the gun or whatever, I think that's kind of what this card is about. Don't do it based on guilt, you know. Be true to yourself first and foremost. You'll know if you're ready for that or if they're ready. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. That is really interesting because I feel like some of you guys have been doing that and this person has watched you kind of grow and evolve. All right. Heal even. Okay. Okay. And that is something that I think they may have trouble doing. This person may be someone who likes to be in control. They like to control things. Um, certainly could be, like I just talked about earlier, some level of arrogance here um, that leads them to that. Yeah, so they definitely need to, to kind of focus on getting into the flow of things. But that also takes surrender or so. And also knowing that there is a, you know, this card, it doesn't say this, but there is a natural flow. You know, there is a natural flow to everything in life and it's almost like this this is what I'm getting from this it's almost like this person also doesn't like a lot of change in their life is what I'm feeling here yeah they don't like it changes I think the changes that have come in their life have kind of hit them hard not all of them but some of them and I think that's where some of that resentment was coming from too that they weren't healed from it says let there be closeness between you but always give each other space love never claims it simply allows and gives wow now that is a powerful card of surrender you may already feel very close to this person it does say um, i feel you even though we're apart that shows me a really deep connection um, and certainly a very deep energetic bond here. So Spirit, let's get one more for my collective, please. Wrap it up. 
emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. Oh, in order to see things clearly, you may... <laughs> This literally says you must let go of resentment. Okay. I think that's a message not only to you, especially if you're going to be moving forward, but definitely to your person. I've said the, the actual word a couple of times. I felt like that's what was causing some of the procrastination here. Perhaps they were still dealing with a karmic energy or even just, you know, some of the, the karmic... Um, I don't know, residue, I want to say from other situations that left a bad taste in their mouth, okay? And they weren't ready to change things within themselves. That's why they procrastinated so much on going forward, all right? Also, maybe on feeling what they felt, all right? Maybe they were kind of closed off in a sense, but trust me when I say they absolutely know how they feel now. That's without question, so all right, guys. This is what I have for you. Hopefully it will resonate with, with some of you guys. We, it does look to me like we have someone who, I would say eager, but very nervous. Um, and kind of putting a little bit, I would say, on the universe here to come forward and to at least convey um, some emotions here and at least to tell you how they feel and that they do want more than friends. Some of them are very doubtful may even feel like they're they're putting themselves out there a little bit too far, being a bit of a fool, but they do know that you deserve to have some something taken out of the dark here, some kind of clarity. Um, but I really think that they're they want to show you the emotion. They want to show you the love. They want it, they're gonna do something for you too. I feel like this is going to be special to kind of show you that that you're special to them. That's what I get. All right, guys, I will talk to you the next time. Good night, collective.